What is up beautiful people? Welcome once again to HM Clothings and in today's video we're going to learn how to make this beautiful sleeve here. Yes, so it's still the series of say no to boring sleeves, okay? And you know details like this can really spice up your outfit, especially if you're in the ready to wear business. Imagine you having a very simple swing dress on so something that like is above your knee a dress that is above your knee with this kind of sleeve or even imagine it that these panels of the sleeve are in different colors imagine just just imagine and bring it to life okay so we'll be trying to bring out our creative juices on here also remember that you can do this this is not just peculiar to sleep you can do this on the main blouse or on the main dress all those abagan style you know so just think it and bring it to life okay it must not even necessarily be long sleeve you can do it short sleeve so just think it and bring it to life okay so that is what we're going to be doing today and guys thank you so much for the love on this channel you know i said you guys should always comment and yes indeed you guys are commenting and i am super grateful so please make it a habit guys whenever you watch please comment when you watch please comment you can put in simple comments you don't need to rack your brain to comment okay so please 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 let's just keep it up and make it a habit on here thank you so much and let us get right into today's video so guys i have my basic sleeve pattern on here okay and for this style design we can see that it is actually just a lantern sleeve yeah it is just a lantern sleeve and it is in three panels okay so you're going to divide your sleeve pattern into three panels if you want to be more creative you can make it as up to five panels you can make it four panels two panels as much panels as you want to but on here this is just three panels we'll just be trying to recreate this so you see how easy it is so that means on my pattern i will measure my sleeve length this is my basic, basic sleeve pattern to my long sleeve so i have about 22 inches here okay and if i was going to be sharing it into three panels 22 into 3 panels, I could do each for 7 and half. And here, let's do it for 7 and half for the panels. Okay, so you can share it as much as you want to. So I'm going to roll straight lines to demarcate each of those panels. These are the three panels for the lantern sleeve. That's for this um, Avagan sleeve style that we have here. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna work on each panel individually. I can now cut through, so I can just label it and say, oh, this is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one, so that I don't mix them up. And also, you can just mark it to show that, oh, it is this part that is joining to this part and this part joining to this part okay how do we do that okay i can do one two three four here so that we know okay 
now the next thing to do is just cut through the lines i'll just cut through the lines and work on each one of them one by one before i move to the other one so as i've cut through this one i'll keep this one one place first and work on this first of all so for this lantern sleeve it is also shared each panel is shared into two again it is slashed and it is spread so i'm going to share this one into two along the midpoint so you look for where your midpoint is going to be and just share it okay and now that i've shared it i just want here to have only three slashes we're going to slash and spread there'll be one slash there another slash here and the last slash here so we are slashing and spreading you can label it you can put as much more slashes as you want okay so but this is fine for me one two three four and one two three four okay so i will work on this first before we work on the other two panels so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut it through these lines like so cut it through along that midpoint then each of it i slash it So this one you slash from that midpoint remember this is the midpoint that you cut through that was where we slash through so the same thing here is through that upper part that we cut through that i'm going to still slash through through here so i'll slash it to the lower point part just slash it to that point don't slash through to that point now that we have this i'm going to get another paper and spread this on it. Let me get my paper. I'll just spread it this way. I'll put it like this here, spread to give it the maximum spread. Okay, you see how I spread it to get the maximum spread that way. Okay, so I'll use my paper tape to hold it down. So now I can cut it following that shape from here, cut, just follow the shape and you're blending the shape out. Don't cut corners, so for instance this corner here, you blend it out to a curve, don't make it a corner. Okay, so now this part here, you have to curve it out. Try and curve it out. Try and curve them out. Don't make any sharp corners. Just curve it out. Let me use my marker so you can see it. Just curve it out. So let me measure what I spread it with. I spread with um, about four and a half, three and a half, <laughs> two and a half. <laughs> Please make your spread even though. At the end of the day, I spread four and a half, three and a half, two and a half. I spread it, um, just make your spreads even so that at the end of the day, they will match up when you are sewing it together. If you don't make your spreads even, they won't match up good. Sorry about that. Please let me make the spreads even. So this other one, now we're going to spread it to, so I'm going to spread it this way. I have to spread it as much as I spread the other one. So 
So now we can cut this out. Please don't leave any corners. Cover your corners. Cover your corners. So cover it. Join it up. Join the two corners up. So you can now join. Let's see if it's going to match up. This is four to four. We sew it up. We sew it up like this. So there's a lot here that will not match up. So we can actually trim it in. Move it inwards. So that it matches up. Just check after you've spread, always check to see that. So four to four. I hope you see that from here, from this part here, and you check to see that it's going to match up. Yeah, so eventually it's now it's now better. It's better so this would be the first panel this would be the first panel so I'm going to keep this together so I'm going to write panel one on it panel one so that I know panel one so that I know that this is the two I'll be sewing together panel one okay so I'll keep these two panels aside then pick up the next one so this is what we have remaining of the sleeve we have panel two and panel three so i'm going to slash along this line then i'll work on panel two first before i'll finally work on panel three so on panel two i'm going to cut just through the middle just through the midpoint i'll slash there Okay. and before I cut through I'll share the panels here so I can do this one more than those three sharing I did I can do it more so I've done more more panels that means more spread so I'm going to now label so this is one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Okay. And now for you to work on panel to cut through that middle, that midline you've drawn. And it is through the line, this midline that you are cutting through. That you are, this one you cut it open from here you cut it open from here so you understand it's true that make points that you are cutting open you slash open to that point just slash it through just to that point just to that point to that point to that point and to that point Okay, then here to from here is where you're cutting open to that point. Okay, so now that we have this, we are going to be spreading on top of the other paper. So this is my paper. I'll spread the upper one first. So I'll open it. This one, I can actually measure how wide so this one, I can actually measure how wide I want to open it up. Okay, let's measure this so that we have the same thing on both sides. I'll pin this down first. Open it up. Pin. So let me see what I have here. I have one and a half. I'll just do one and a half all through. But if I want it more, 
the idea is the more the, the more the better the more the better it looks maybe i'll do two two let me do two two okay two Blend out the curves. Blend out the curves. Blend it out. So this is for panel two. Let's do the other one. So we'll spread it for two inches wide at the bottom. Out. I hope you can see the blending. Just blend it to a curve. And now you cut it through. So this one will be joining up. Let's check and see if. So you start from here, from this part here. Join, 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 join. Okay, so we have just a little. We cannot stream it so that it joins up perfectly. Okay, yeah, so it's matching up because we measured this one. So you see the difference when you measure, it matches. Okay, so this will be panel two. And you are joining it along this part. So I write panel two, panel two, and panel two. So when through with panel two, the last one will be panel three. So if you have more panels, if you have maybe four panels, you do each of them separately so you don't mix them up. If you have five panels, if you have just two panels, the same thing. So let's do panel three. So you're going to be dividing it along the mid and and another thing is your creative juice can flow and say oh you don't want to do that at the same time you want to do one third or one quarter whatever it's all dependent on what you visualize so now that we've divided it remember the next thing draw slash lines draw slash lines Okay, now that we have slash lines, we label one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, and six, six. Okay, so now we can cut it through that center line. And it's from the center line you slash to the beginning. So from that center line you slash to this point. Okay, so now we slash to. The next thing is to put it on our paper and spread.
just be measuring two inches apart if you want it to be more than two inch please feel free to do so So we're done with one panel, let's, slash, let's spread the other one. So I hope we know <laughs> this one is the up and down. That's this one is the one that will be down, this one is the one that will be up. Okay. For panel two. Okay, so this one is the one that is up and down. Please do all these things so that you don't mix it up. See there are a lot of circle circle everywhere. But this one is the one that is hard to mix up because of the shape and this is panel one so you can go ahead to um, even do different colors for each of them i have a scrap fabric that i'll be using to work with this and for you to work with this you can actually do um, use fabrics that have like structure you can use scuba um, but any like chiffon, silk, those fabric won't be nice to work with it. It's not going to make it stand like what is standing here. It's going to fall. So you can actually use cotton or even if you want to use chiffon or silk or any of those or satin, iron um, gum stay so that it stands or even put peplum stay so that it really stands and give you the structure. That's if, it's, if that's what you're going for, okay? So we're going to put this now on our fabric and start cutting. So I'm using this scrap fabric. That's the good thing about all these patterns. Imagine if you wanted to do this on the main fabric. Of course, you can't. There's no way you can. You have to work on paper. Then with this scrap, you can say, okay, oh, I'll place my arrangement like, see my scrap from the last project. I can't just straight away. So imagine if I had like maybe this color of gown or this color of gown, if I put this sleeve on it, oh my goodness, it's going to look so, so lovely, okay? So yeah, enough talking, let's, and this cotton is actually, you can see it's, it's um, it has um, structure, it's rigid, okay, so that's why I'm using this cotton. So that's why I'm using this cotton. So I'll just place my fabric on here and cut away.
guys so we have cut everything if you are going to be doing two sleeves you know as usual i'm just going to do one sleeve if we are going to do two sleeves that means you're going to cut two each of all of these things two each for me i just cut one one each we are doing just one sleeve so now thank god for the um, um labeling you can see i have panel two down that means i know that this one is for the down part and um, panel two up this one is for the up part so i'm going to pin it together like this i'm going to sew it right side facing right side i'll just pin it first then this one is panel one up um, down panel one up so i'll pin it like this that's how i'm joining it I don't even need to pin it. Then this one is panel three. Then not I label. This one is down. So this one is the one that will be here. And this one is up. This one is the one that will be here. Okay, so let me do it this way. Panel one, panel two, panel three. If you had panel four, five, six, that's how much it will be. So now I'll remove the pins and um, Put it right sides facing each other. So I'll put it this way and I'll sew from this beginning from here. I'm joining from here. So you look at your pattern and see where you're joining from all the way to the other point. Okay. Then this one. This is my This one is the one that will be up I think I'll, I'll notch the parts that will be up I'll notch it so that I'll, remember, I'll know when I'm joining So that's the part that will be up And this is the part that is down So I'll notch only the up parts so I'll know that's what is going to be attached. So like this. I'm going to even put two on it. Let's write two on it. Let's write one here. Let's write two here. So that we don't mix it up. Then this one is the part that will be down from what we have here. And this is the part that is up so i'll pin it then notch that up part so that i don't mix them up because it's going to be so easy to mix them up though. i'll notch the up part so that now i'm joining it with that part there okay so these are my panels and let us get right into our sewing machine to sew everything up and see the final reveal guys so this is what each of them will look like when you are through sewing it along that midpoint that you slashed and spread so you turn it inside out this way you turn it inside out this way so this is what you will have at the end of the day this is what you're going to be having so this part you can see this part is for the sleeve so even if you want to do one panel this is one panel okay now this lower part you're going to take panel two let me see yeah this is panel two that we labeled and this is the up part so you're going to take panel two 
and place it right sides to right sides and pin it along that part like so so you sew it up you sew it up you sew it up so you get to the end together then then you take panel three this is panel three and this is the part we not notched so you put panel three on panel two bottom and you sew it up as well okay you sew it round and you sew it closed okay so i'll take this to the machine and join up all the three lanterns together we'll join up all the three lanterns together and um, finish up this bottom part and that will be the end so let's quickly do all of that and round this up So guys this is what it is so please um, remember to put iron this very well you actually need to iron it so that the um, lanterns stay in place also you can put stay like I said earlier so that it doesn't move okay so this is what you have it's just like a um, you know this um, musical device <laughs> and it's quite lovely so now I can go ahead to join it up along this part so technically right sides facing right sides push all these things in right sides facing right sides like so join it from the bottom see I've hemmed the bottom as well join it up onto the top so let's quickly sew that part closed and okay guys so this is what the inside is i just sewed it like quarter of an inch and i'm gonna flip it inside out now so make sure you arrange the lanterns now for this one that is just poking out here i'll just trim it so this is the part that will be going into this is the part that'll be going into a sleeve that's into a an armhole so i have like a sleeveless top here without any sleeve all i'll just do is take this right and pin it into the armhole okay so let's pin it and By the time I sew it up, it's going to be close like that and you keep arranging this thing or you just use a stick so that it stays in place, okay? Yeah, so that is it, that is it for this tutorial. Maybe I'll just sew this sleeve and we'll see how it looks like in a jiffy. Let me sew this close and come back to you so guys we've come to the end of this tutorial gosh i really did enjoy making this tutorial okay so there's some few observations i've come on here to tell you 
first of all if your sleeve length is like 20 21 22 inches please add about six inches extra why because this puff if you want it to puff there needs to be allowance like see about two inches is for this puff alone you can see because if you just um leave it straight see at the end of the day the thing is not giving you that puffy effect but if you want it to puff see if I dry it down, then I'll be having just about like 20 inches. About I'll be having about 20 inches. But because I want it to puff, I need to put seam allowance to allow it puff. Okay. So I would advise you put like six inches or eight inches, depending on how you want this thing to really puff out. So when you're if you for instance, if you make this for a client, you tell your client, please puff. The sleeve out whenever you wear you even give them a tutorial of how to wear the sleeve okay so this is what it is and when you're joining each of these things put seam allowance even along the width of the sleeve the length and the width the length should be about six inches above minimum of six inches above and for the width just put one one inch on both sides so that if it doesn't match up you can always trim and it will not affect the length or the um, width of the sleeve when you wear it okay so aside that every other thing is on point if you do not want to put a stay to it it's perfect because you see there's no stay here and it's standing well imagine this on a very short dress okay and yeah with this sleeve your dress could be silk, satin, whatever kind of fabric you want to use, crepe, Ankara, whatever kind of fabric. And you have sleeve of different colors or of different fabric. That is a statement piece. You know, it's all these little details that will make your clients come to you, come back to you over and over and over again. So guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial, Please do not forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you're yet to. Thank you so much for watching. Till we see you in our next tutorial. Stay safe. God bless you. Bye.